All right, now for these four problems, I want to find the determinant of each matrix. I want to find the determinant of each matrix. Now, I know that the determinant is going to be a real number based on this matrix. This is a two by two matrix, two by two. So that means that this matrix has two rows and two columns with the row number always coming first. So how to find the determinant is you use the main diagonal and the counter diagonal. So I'm gonna draw a line through the main diagonal. It's gonna cross through six and four. So I do six times four. Now what I wanna do is I wanna use the counter diagonal, which is the diagonal running in the opposite direction. It's gonna hit two and five. So we need to do two times five. So we multiply those two numbers together. And I always put a subtraction sign in between because we're always gonna be subtracting at the end. Six times four is gonna give you 24. Two times five is gonna give you 10. And then 24 minus 10, that's gonna give you 14. So my answer is 14. That's the determinant of that matrix. Let's try the second one. This is also a two by two. So I need to use the main diagonal first. When I draw my main diagonal, it's gonna go through two numbers, negative two and positive four. So I need to multiply those together first. Then I'm gonna multiply the numbers that are on the counter diagonal the one and the seven. So I'm gonna have one times seven. And I always put the subtraction sign in the middle. Negative two times four is negative eight. One times seven is just gonna give me seven. And negative eight minus seven is gonna give me a negative 15. So that's gonna be my determinant. And I circle that. Down here, I have another two by two. I'm gonna use the main diagonal first. That's gonna be negative three times zero. Put the subtraction sign in the middle. And now I do the counter diagonal. It's gonna go the opposite direction and it's gonna pick up negative one and negative two. So I need to multiply negative one by negative two. So when I multiply negative three times zero, I'm gonna get zero because anything times zero will give me zero. Minus, bring down your subtraction sign in the middle. Over here, I have negative one times negative two. That's gonna give me a positive two when I multiply. So now I have zero minus two, that's gonna give me negative two. Now for the last one, I have to find the determinant of this two by two. I start off by using the main diagonal. I scoop up one and two, so that's what I'm gonna multiply first. Put your subtraction sign in the middle. Now we're gonna use the counter diagonal to get one and two. So those go next over here. So one times two over here is gonna give me two minus one times two is also gonna give me two and two minus two is gonna give me zero. So my determinant for this one is going to be zero. What you'll find out later is that when your determinant is zero, that means that you cannot invert this matrix. So we call this matrix non-invertible, non-invertible. What that means is that you can't invert it. You can't make an inverse of this matrix. We also call that singular, singular. And that basically means the same thing as non-invertible. 